Hey YouTube, welcome back to Spark Starter Channel. I just want to share with you my remote control mini portable Jacob's Ladder. So I've got it housed in a 3D printed enclosure and I've got my little remote control here. We can see when I press the button, we can activate the uh, Jacob's Ladder effect. And uh, what we have here is a 3D printed enclosure. It has these USB charger uh, cigarette ignition uh, coil circuits. So you've got your PCB that has the microcontroller, the uh, LiPo battery, the remote control receiver, and antenna here. Uh, and that in the switch that would uh, turn on the igniter is uh, replaced with a read relay that interfaces with the receiver module. So, so all you need to get started to build one of these guys is your cigarette lighter uh, ignition module. So you see the print circuit board with power transistor, microcontroller, USB charger, uh, the switch that would turn it on. This is the one I replaced with the read switch and interfaced it to the remote control and the high voltage transformer. Where you output your high voltage and then you just solder in your battery, your lithium battery. It solders to the, and there's a little B plus, the positive battery terminal and over here to the ground pad. That's where you're soldering your battery. So everything's nice, neat little uh, container in this 3D printed enclosure. And anytime I want a little uh, Jacob's Ladder plasma, I can just press the button. And I think this uh, would be good for some different, all kinds of different applications where you needed uh, a little bit of portable high voltage in a remote uh, location, like, um, like uh, triggering a spark gap for a capacitor discharge. So I might try that for my next project using this. Micro USB. And plug it in. And you'll see a blue light when it's charging and it should go out when the charging of the battery is complete. Another thing I tried was I wanted a high voltage DC source that would operate continuously. So I pretty much put the same, same circuit, uh, print circuit board with the control electronics, the battery, high voltage transformer. But this time I used just a single, uh, a double pole single throw switch and diode putting charge onto a high voltage capacitor. Now, one thing I discovered about these cigarette lighter ignition modules is that they shut off after 15 seconds. So I was hoping for a continuous uh, high voltage DC supply that I could use for things like my cloud chamber that you might've seen in another video or my charge detector. So I'll give you a quick demo of the charge detector so you can you can use this, but uh, intermittently if you want to ch test charge detectors. Um, I'm hoping to develop uh, a different battery uh, powered circuit that can run high voltage continuously. So stay tuned for that. But right now I'm going to give you a demo. Okay. So we've got the high voltage AC power source from our cigarette lighter ignition system and it's going to put high voltage charge dc across the capacitor we've got the diode so the ac will come in get rectified and charge the uh, the terminals of the capacitor i'm going to turn on uh, turn off this light so you get a little bit better uh, visualization of the leds that will glow po uh, red for positive uh, green for negative respectively so let's let's try it out
We'll try that again. So you can see how the different different terminals of the capacitor are charged with different potentials. See the green LED? Yeah, over here, opposite side. We get the red LED. Well, that concludes my demo of the uh, cigarette ignition coil circuit and the remote-controlled Jacob's Ladder and high-voltage uh, charge source.